Hey guys, I got a video for you guys today. Um, so, I'm using my old camera today because my other brand new camera is already dead after I used it twice. So I need to purchase some rechargeable batteries for it. So, as of right now, I'm going to be using my handy dandy dinosaur camera. That way you can watch this video. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> I'm a little tired today, so on the slap peppy side. Devoted to doing my videos, videos. So I'm going to be watching some of my Glam and Glitz acrylic for you guys. And I actually got some things in the mail today. I got, which, now I'm going to give my first impression on my new Net Plus drill. I just got it two days ago, so I'm not going to give an honest opinion just yet. I'm just trying it out. I want to try it out for a week or so to see how well I like it, but I will be telling you guys about it as I'm using it. So, you get a two for one video today. Okay, so, don't judge. I'm putting a plastic lid down that way this monomer doesn't go onto my towel. Because I'm a little hillbilly like that. So I have my paper towels here and I'm just going to lay them down. Also, I got in the mail that I ordered from AliExpress, which I order a lot from AliExpress, so I suppose you guys probably noticed that. I love AliExpress. But I got these silicone molds. Now, I don't have the greatest luck with these. I've only experimented a few times, but these were so cute and they were only like a dollar, a dollar something. So, the first one, if you can see with my beautiful, beautiful dinosaur camera, is seashells. Look at them pretty old seashells. Aren't those cute? those and then this one we have this has a little bit of everything on it it's got seashells it's got cactuses flamingos a cross it's got ice cream cones and just some little I don't know what you call them little designs in there I guess or maybe that's just the way they're cut out I don't know anyways so I will try to swatch those for you guys if I can, if I don't forget. So, okay, so now let me, I've got some clear acrylic here and I'm just going to take some of my Enel Couture Crystal Clear and I'm just going to lay over the top of these.
This one is from the Fantasy Acrylic and this one is called Impulse. And this is gorgeous too, guys. So I'm going to set this to the side because I don't want to knock it over. It's not like my new camo, but okay. Glam and Glitz. Any experience that I've had, Glam and Glitz. You have, majority of people like to work with it wet. Now you can work with it dry. It just takes a little bit more. It takes a little bit more to maneuver. But to get the most work out of it is to be wet. And I have a hard time doing that sometimes because I'm used to it being a little bit on the dry side. So. That being said, I'm going to, wait a minute, mm. I really need to mix it up a little bit better. I'm just going to take the end of my brush and just kind of wiggle it around in there. Get it all mixed up. Okay, so I got it mixed up and I'm just going to take my brush and Dip in there, and I'm just going to start right here actually, we'll start at the end. And I'm going to feather it up. See what I mean about being on the dry side? I always, always, always start dry. I don't know why. I cannot get the ratio right when I first start working with it. I never do. But it's not bad. It's not a bad thing. I mean, it's just... Um, It's just where you're used to working with acrylics that are drier than you, you know, like I said, the Glam and Glitz is, you know, better worked with wet. Okay, let's try this again. Wetter this time. Use small beads too. I mean, you don't have to use gi gigantic beads. I know a lot of times when people are video cameraing on videotaping that they look a lot bigger than what they appear. But I'm going to tell you, it, it's not. I, I mean, a lot of times you think, wow, that's a big bottle, or wow, that's a big jar. And then when you get it, and you're like, what happened? You know, cameras are zoomed in, they're uh, not as big as they seem. This tiniest bead and I'm just going to take it right back and I'm just going to push it as close to that cuticle as I can get. Now when I do that I'm just going to flatten the back part with my main end of my brush and I'm just going to pat it out and pull it down. Pat it out, pull it down. Take, take the flat part of your brush and just pull it down, flatten it as much as you possibly can. And the good thing about acrylic is if you feel like you missed a spot, you can always take the tiniest bit and put it right where you want it. It's not going to hurt. You just feather it up and feather it down. Good thing about acrylic too, um, it does dry fast, you know, so if you like to work fast, it's a plus. Those who are not used to acrylic like I wasn't, and you're like, wow. <laughs> but just take your time. I mean, take your time. You're better off to start with a um, acrylic monomer that is a slow setting speed if you're working with acrylic. I did not know that when I first started, so the first acrylic monomer that I ever bought was a fast run um, acrylic, so it was five inches thick. I'm not well. It really was five inches thick. Oh god look at that guys. Look how beautiful. I'm just gonna close that for you guys. Wow look at that. Wow. Now I'm gonna let that take time and I'm gonna let that dry before I encapsulate it and clear 
anytime you're working with glares, depending on some powders now. Glam and Glitzes are strength powders. You don't normally have to, but if you're working with the Fantasy, Fantasy Collection, I advise you to encapsulate first before you file over it. I mean, you can, but it's not going to be as pretty if you just file over the glitter. So, let's go on to the next one. And this one is absolutely my favorite. One of my favorites. I cannot say that. They're all my favorite. But this is um, an exception. This is... This one, and I think that baby pink that I just recently got was amazing. Oh my god, look at that. Now this is more like fall. These are fall colors to me, which I wear these colors anytime. They don't matter to me. If I wanna wear it, I wear it. But oh my Jesus, it's like got, it's got full in it. It's got glit gold glitter, bronze glitter, rose gold, definitely. Hope I got it wet wow. Learn my bead. To the end, clean my brush. Always clean your brush after you, when you lay your acrylic, clean your brush. When your first bead goes down, clean it. The reason I say that because you need to give it a minute to like, how do you say it, um, like self level, I guess. God, that is just. This is called Night in Paris, by the way. I think I forgot to tell you. Night in Paris. This is part of the Fantasy Collection. And it is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It, I forgot that it had the blue in it. I really did. So I'm gonna wipe my brush, clean that off. And you're just gonna press, 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 press to each side where you want it and down. That is amazing guys. I can't even express how much that I love this glitter right here. Ooh, so pretty. Get that flat. Press and pull. Press, 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 and pull. Pull. And then flatten it down. Once you get it flat, just come down with your brush. Now for the cuticle, I just want a small bead like that right there tiniest that I can get and I'm just going to lay that right towards the back. I did try to find this monomer for you guys that I was using today from MB Nail Supply. And that was the mango monomer. I cannot, I don't know. I went to the website and it said permanently closed. But yet you was able to go on and look at everything. I don't know if that meant like it's closed, closed, or it's just, it said permanently closed. So I don't know. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. This is just one I wanted to, um, how do you say it? I wanted to test it out, see if I like it or not. This is from their MAC collection, and this is uh, Irish Cream. This is from the MAC collection. And so it shows up matte. Now, most of their MAC, I notice, it has like a little, I don't know how you want to, what you want to call it. It's like little pieces in it, like little white pieces in it. It's really pretty, actually. I mean, it's not bad at all. It, but I don't think it's, I don't think I'm crazy about it. Like, I don't think I'm crazy about the matte collection because um, they're just a little different, I guess. They're not bad, don't get me wrong. Some people like them. I just wanted to try them to see if I liked them. Of course, it's the only one I have in the matte collection because, like I said, it wasn't something that I was crazy about. See, 
it's like it's just like I don't know it's different it's a different style I guess you want to keep your sides tucked in when you do that when you push on the side it's going to pull it up to the middle I do like it though. I mean, I do like this one. I just don't know if I would like, you know, use them all the time. See, it's like, it's really different. I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not. All right, so there's that one. That one's Irish Crane. Let's see. This one is 24K. Focus. This one is uh, from the Diamond Acrylic Collection. Mm, holographic Gold. This oh, little okay. nail of all. So therefore, it takes no, not much at all to do that beautiful little pinky. Thumb that you can't. It's just uh, whatever your preference is, I guess. I just feel like um, if you work with it wet, that it, you get more coverage out of it, I guess you'd say. Make sure those sides are tucked in. Lift it down. Sorry if I go out of frame, guys. I guess I should come up a little bit that way. I'm not going out of frame, so I know I am.
that's a good thing. Sometimes a, a glam and glitz, though, sometimes it, it's still workable even after it's still drying. So just play around with it. Like I said, you see, you'll tell what you can do and what you can't do. Da da, that beautiful gold. I love it. So let me put it back on these. And I'm just going to encapsulate these. Now, let's talk about encapsulation a little bit. Encapsulation is great. I mean, you can pretty much encapsulate anything. Sorry, I hit the camera. Encapsulate anything inside acrylic. It don't matter what it is. Um, well, yeah, it does matter what it is, but you can't. You, but you can. You you can encapsulate a lot of things in nails, uh, decal. You can actually do uh, a hybrid poly gel. You can do little um, charms. You can um, mold. You can do mold. You can actually. Take a mold, put it on top, and actually encapsulate over it. If you make it, if you make it thin enough, your bottom layers. If you actually make them thin enough to where you could put a, a a mold on the inside and encapsulate, which I will have to do a video on that, I guess. That way I can show you guys. I wonder if I could do it right now. Let's see. I'm gonna try. So this one is, I'm going to mix it up a little bit before I get started. This one is actually called Wave. And I'm just going to see if I can encapsulate it. Wave. And this is the ColourPop collection. And I'm just going to do this little tiny, um, do I want to do the cactus or do I want to do, I want to do the seashell. So I'm just going to take a small bead and I'm just going to put it right on the inside of this seashell right here. As flat as I possibly can get it. Actually, I'm going to put one more bead in it. I'm gonna make sure that's flat. And I'm just gonna let it dry. I'm gonna keep patting it till it goes dry. take too long. You'll you'll kind of notice it takes about a, about a minute or so. But I'm gonna let that dry for a second. I just like to keep there it goes. It's already peeling up. As you can see it's peeling up and I'm just gonna take my hand and just Gently get that out there. And while it's still, oh god, oh god, I just dropped it, of course. Shoot. While it's still moldable, bendable, I'm just gonna put it right here on this now. Right here. Right like that. See it? So, actually, you know what? I'm gonna take a small little bead of clear first. just going to take this little seashell, stick it right there on top of it. Now, flatten it to it, as flat as I could possibly get it. And I did, oh, that's one thing, like when you're peeling it up, make sure there's a, like a little arch in it because that way it'll lay flat to the nail. Okay, so there that is. 
with my little detail. So I'm going to take my clear acrylic. Make sure my brush is clean. I'm just going to get a ball of acrylic like this. I'm just going to, first of all, I'm going to start at the bottom. I'm going to start at the very bottom here. Press it down. I'm just going to start coming up my seashell. Now you want to try to make it as say you don't want to have to file a whole lot you don't want to file into the design so here I'm taking another bead a big bead I'm just going to put it at the top of it here I'm just going to start So now I've got it encapsulated. It's on the inside of the nail. But I still want to take just a little bit more acrylic in the back. Towards the back part. I didn't get all that glitter back there. So what I mean about like going matte and not, I'm getting water all over me. I should probably get this on this side. Um, if you can see, from here up has clear acrylic. Right here is not covered. It's still shiny. It's not matte. right here. Still shiny. I'm just going to take a little bit and just like pull it down the nail. Pull it up the nail. Just like I said, make it 
make sure you check all sides because sometimes you'll think, oh, I'm done. And then when you go to file it, you're like, oh God, I missed a spot. And then you have to go back and fix it or either just keep on filing. You want to try to stay as thin as possible. You don't want a lot of bulk. More bulk, more filing. So those are all encapsulated. And now I'm just going to file them real fast. So I'm going to be using my dust collector. Very, very awesome drill. It's really powerful. That is low. And it's just barely going around as you can see. That's on three, right there. That's on or three, almost four. Got a front and a reverse. I plug in this. I don't think I'll ever use this, but um, and then you have your handpiece. So, and like I said, this is just my first impressions. And it is super quiet as of right now. Let me turn it all the way up. That's all. I hope nobody ever uses it on high like that. So I'm going to put it on three and just this is my Todak USA drill bit and I love this drill bit. I mean no joke guys it's like butter. It just like flows right down the nail. Like I said, that's another thing that you don't need to press hard with these drill bits because they do the work for you. Um, you just the only thing you need to do is guide it and make sure you hold on because they can't get away from you if you got them too high. You don't know what you're doing. So far, I'm just going to show you this part up here.
I'll move this back over to the side. Okay, so this one is the, this one is called Femme, Femme Fatale, 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 I don't know. I'll put it on the screen for you. But this was a pretty, pretty pink. And I'm gonna do this lovely flamingo on this little mold I got right here. So I'm uh oh, get my let me get my uh my my my, my uh, you know my paper towels. Um, another thing, guys, I wanna say to you all: if you're you know when you're using paper towels and stuff, and your and your desk gets dirty from colors and you know just a little bit of everything, you know try to keep it clean. At least your paper towels. Now this has a little bit of that white glitter in it because where I used that, um, what was it called? Irish cream, the matte color. And it's got glitter in it too. I don't know what it's going to turn out like. But anyways, so let's pick up a bead. And I'm going to set it right inside of this flamingo. And I don't know what it's going to turn out like because... It's like, um, it's got a bunch of little lines in it, so, like this. Maybe I should have just, like, picked up a ball and just stuck it in there. Like I said, I don't have the best of luck with these things, because I don't really use them a whole lot. Well, we are going to try it anyways. I'm just trying to build it all the way up on the inside of it. Make sure there's some color in there. Flatten it out. I'm trying to get out the little legs. These are a little bit deep, so I don't know how they're going to turn out. Yeah, this is these are great too you know because when you get done you know if you want to you can use your acrylic paint to uh, um, color them in or whatever you want to do with them I'm just wanting to show you guys this for video purposes though that way you can see you know you can do so many things with acrylic a little bit more down here by the, by the toes. I feel like I had enough there really. And the good thing, you know, with silicone mode, the acrylic doesn't stick to it, so that's a good thing, you know. Ooh, that's gonna be so pretty. I love that paint. It's so pretty. It's more like a, like a, well, I'll show you. See how pretty that is? It's already drying, so I am going to pop that out of there. Now, a lot of times, like I said, you'll have to pull these little things of acrylic off of them, or snip them, or Put a little bit of an arch in them, because if not, you're going to be hurting. Take a little bit of clear, and I'm just going to put it on this. Uh, what do I want? It? I'll put it right here on this one. No, no, I gotta need some more monomer. Go! I didn't realize I was about out. I 
Maybe not that much. God. Anyway, take your flamingo and you just want to place him on there. That way he's going to stay. Which is I said, not a lot of clear because clear doesn't always lay flat sometimes. The image doesn't. Well, not that. So, I show you. I do. I don't have my little scissors with me. Little itty bitty tiny scissors with me. So I'm just gonna like go around and use little tiny pieces of acrylic that were dried. I'm just gonna. They usually just pop right off. Here. All right, let's see. Oh, I'm gonna get this part right here. You see, they'll come right off. Little pieces that are sticking out. You just gotta take a, you know, you can take an orange wood stick or you take a little tiny pair of scissors. All right, so, anyways, I'm gonna clean my brush real good and I'm gonna put it away. All right, so now I am going to get my, um, now guys, it all depends on you. You can either use a uh, gel polish or gel top coat, you know, to put on your design. Yay. And I want you to see that encapsulation there. That's right. I say you can, you can encapsulate anything. Turns out so beautiful. I'm just gonna go around my flamingo. Just gonna show you what it looks like. It has little crevices. Now you can leave your little flamingo mat if you like, or you can just kind of a little effect and get a little bit of coat on them and make them all pretty. I don't like to put a lot. I just like to make them a little glossy. Not glossy, but I guess, you know, I'm not so matte looking, I guess. But this is the great part about encapsulation. Look at that glitter. I love it. And then like I said, you know, you can, you can encapsulate anything you want. Now this would be great to take some black paint and just kind of outline those lines, cover it up if you wanted to. Or you can just leave it like that, put little diamonds around it. I know that I'm top cutting that and it's supposed to be matte, but I guess you could put a matte top cut over it, but I don't have mine right on hand. And then here is the 24 karat gold. So let me get. Uh, all right, guys. So that's what my glam and glitz look like. And I will be doing some more videos because I have a ton more. So little by little, I'm just gonna share a few with you a day. Just kind of, you know, show you what all I have. But I did want to show you how to encapsulate all my stuff. So I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe, guys. It's totally free. Um, and I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you all for watching. Bye.